Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, we're gonna go ahead and do a recap of all the skirts that I found during the Summer Skirts series. So before I get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the skirts that I sewn for the Summer Skirt series. So the first skirt that I sewn in the Summer Skirt series was the flared skirt. So the flared skirt, I love this skirt. The pattern used for this skirt is Butter 4686 which is also butter 6744. So the fabric is from Joanne. It is a red polka dot fabric. I paired it with some white shoes as well as a white top as well. And then I did it again with Mickey Mouse as the shirt with some Minnie Mouse shoes, which I'll also explain in um, the monthly makes for the month of May. The second skirt that I sewn in the Summer Skirt series was the Broomstick Tiered Skirt. I also paired it with like a boxy top with some straps at the back. The pattern that I used for the skirt was McCall's 6704, I believe. I'm sorry, it was McCall's 7604, which is now McCall's 8066 for the skirt and then for the top, I used the old pattern of McCall 7542, which is now McCall 8161 for the top as well. I paired that three different ways as well in the photos. Um, the fabric is a Toy Story striped fabric from Joann's. Um, that's the fabric that I used in order to complete that broomstick skirt. was the mini skirt um, utilizing new look 6290 the fabric is from Etsy a shop by the name of K textile 19 I paired it three different ways as well I paired it with the black uh, a basically a self drop I'm sorry I paid paired it with a black button-down shirt that pattern was simplicity 1538 I also paired it with a waterfall jacket that I uh, sewn together in the month of February during the Black History Month Pattern Designers uh, Challenge and that pattern was McCall 7635. The next skirt was the pleated skirt um, and the pattern that I used for that one is McCall 7253. I love this skirt. I paired it with a, I paired it two ways on this one. I paired it with a yellow top as well as a white, um, just a white t-shirt. Um, I love both ways. I like to give a kind of dress up, dress down look. So you have options uh, on how to style your skirt. Um, the fabric was from Etsy by a shop name of Smurfette. So yeah, I'm not sure if they still have this fabric because I'm still looking for this fabric to do something else with that fabric, but that fabric is from a shop called Smurfette Fabric Shop on Etsy. was the maxi skirt. Now I sewn the maxi skirt as part of hashtag so maxi for Mother's Day. The pattern that I use is new look 6516. The fabric is from Wax Prince Lace and More on Etsy as well. The next skirt in that series was the long skirt and the fact the pattern that I used was Butterick 5757. It is a tiered skirt that I created using red, white, and blue, and I posted it for Memorial Day. It was just festive to do that. Um, the red and blue fabric is from Wax Prince Lace and More. The white fabric is from House of Mama Wata, both on Etsy. Right after 
after that skirt, I sewn a short skirt. Now I did two versions of the short skirt. The first one was a a line, a short A-line skirt that was self-drafted from Sew It Academy, course number five and six. The second skirt was the planet skirt. Uh, the fabric is from Joann's and the pattern that I used to create that skirt was Butter at 6670. I created a long A-line skirt. The pattern that I used for that one was Butterick 6249. The fabric that I use is from Joann's and it's the linen. Um, I love that skirt. It was a little different than what I normally um, do for a skirt. It is super duper long, um, but I styled it two ways. I styled it with a white plastic button down shirt as well as just a solid white shirt, t-shirt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I do love this skirt as well. The next skirt after that one, the long A-line skirt, was the gourd skirt. This skirt, I went back and forth with different patterns. The skirt, that the one that I finally chose was Simplicity 8019. And I also paired it with uh, McCall 7920. Um, I'll tell about the feelings that I have about this skirt in just a moment. But the fabric is from Wax Prince Lace and More. And the last skirt in this series was the wrap skirt. I love this skirt. The pattern that I used for this skirt was Simplicity 1069. And I also paired it with kind of like a, another type of uh, boxy top, so to, so to speak. Um, it's Simplicity 8128 for that top as well. It has the drawstrings and, I'm sorry, like neckties in the back. I love that top for sure. created it was 10 skirts that I created in the summer skirt series I am planning on doing this again next year it was super duper fun many of you joined in with me um, to create this summer skirt series as well now I have been asked which ones are my top three and which ones are my bottom three so I'm gonna start off with my bottom three now I like all of them but there were some that I like more than others uh, the three that I didn't too much care for that I will probably never do again. Well, when I say never do again, it's more of I would reconsider the pattern that I use. So the first one is going to be the maxi skirt. Now, I love the maxi skirt and the pairing. But the way that New Look 6516 wanted you to, to do the skirt, it's just... I felt like I could have just done a, another longer broomstick skirt and call it a day. So that's one that I do not care for as far as the way that you create the tiers. And it's not like a tier tier. It was it was a little different and I had discussed that in the monthly May monthly make on New Look 6516. So that's the first one. The second one that I didn't too much care for um, was also the uh, short A-line skirt as well. That was Butter at 6670. I love the fabric, which was the um, pleated fabric. However, I had to create a waistband and pockets in order to make it have a little mm, instead of what was in the pattern of Butter at 6670. So I made it work. I still love the skirt. I'm still gonna rock the skirt. I'm still gonna wear the skirt. That was another pattern that I did not care for. Um, that I would probably never, I probably, I wouldn't say never, but I probably would not select that pattern again. However, I am going to use that pattern again to completely finish up all the makes on that pattern as well as a little mini collection and then put it away. It wouldn't be one that I would use again after <laughs> I finish creating what I want to create with that pattern. And the last one that I didn't too much care for that I probably would not use as a pattern, it was the mini skirt. Now, 
it was basically more of a not so mini mini skirt because my skirt was not a mini skirt it was more of a knee length skirt um a couple of things i didn't like about that skirt was the pattern itself um new look 6290 i think that that pattern needed to be a little length you know uh for i did view a the length of view a but i did view b so I think view B should have had a alternate length. You could use either, you know, A or B, but I think that needed another length to it. And instead of doing an exposed zipper, I did a invisible zipper. Um, so that was one that I did like as well. And one thing that I did do, um, I did do Simplicity 8176, which is also Simplicity 8211. Love the skirt which was the one that I did with the coffee, which I will put photos in right here. Um, that skirt, I did not like the zipper right next to the pocket. That was a little different, but I mastered it. I liked it. It took me one try to get it done and voila, we are here and I love, that's one of the skirts that I love, but I just did not like the construction of it. Now, let's go ahead and get into the skirts that I super, super duper love. Now, there, basically all of them I love, but there's four that I really, really love doing in this summer skirt series. That number one skirt would definitely be the Memorial Day skirt, which was the long skirt, the tiered skirt, utilizing Butterick 5757. That skirt, red, white, and blue, all day. I love that skirt. Another one that I love was the pleated skirt, which was McCall 7253. I love that skirt, period. Um, <clears throat> another skirt that I love was the wrap skirt. The wrap skirt, I don't know. I don't know how I came up with that pair, to be honest. I have no idea. I was literally looking for a top to basically utilize the rest of the fabric. Simplicity 8128 just stuck out to me. I just opened up a Simplicity box, was looking for a pattern. Um, it did not matter what year because I knew it was part of the Scoop Challenge, which I have a video for the Scoop Challenge, many videos for the Scoop Challenge and pattern options as well. But it was just one that just stuck out to me like, yo, you have to do me. So <laughs> I literally paired them together on the fly. Um, and that last skirt that I super duper love that I could see myself wearing constantly is the very first skirt that I sewn in the summer skirt, skirt series, and that's the flared skirt, which is Butter at 4868. So I love, I'm sorry, 4686, which is now Butter at 6744. So I love that skirt. I love the pairing. Every single skirt, you can just do like a button down, a plastic button down shirt, whether it's white, black, you know regular colors so every single skirt you can mix and match with different things in your closet and i hope i was able to show you how you can mix and match a lot of these different skirts that you choose you can do that with shorts pants um what have you so yeah i hope you love this series the summer skirt series i'm sorry and i hate to see that it's going away but we're, we are moving into the top series. Hope you join me for the summer top series, which is summers out, arms out, top series. But that's all that I have for this summer third series recap. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time, bye.